Hi everybody, it's Travelling Jones. We're back here again on our Monday afternoon Zoom meeting. Well, good day again, it's Travelling Jones. We're back again with another episode of Let's Talk About. And today we're going to be speaking about journaling. So my name's Travelling Jones and I'm based in Warrington in the UK. And I'll let the rest of the team introduce themselves to you. I'm Andrea and I live in Vancouver, BC, Canada. I'm Julie and I oh I'm Julie and I live in uh, Billings, Montana. I'm Jennifer and I live in the southwest um, in the UK. I'm Ultimar and uh, I live here in Iceland. There you are. There's the team now. Just to let you like, just to let you know, um, the the reason that we're here is that because we are experts by experience. We're not providing medical advice and we are offering information based upon what's worked for us. And we are suggesting and recommending and encouraging you to um, copy what we do because it could work for you. But if it doesn't work for you, then find out what works for you. And if there's anybody out there who feels that they are also qualified as an expert by experience, then please let us know and come and join us because, you know, that's all we are experts by experience. We're going to talk about journaling. And I want to start right back in the beginning. These are my journals over the years since I started. And I've always, even before I did local offer, I've always had a book where I write everything down. Because if I made a purchase or if I did something that came up with an idea, then it's going to be in here. So this is my life, if you like. And I, looking through the book now, I just came across something. And when I was started my journey, I met a doctor called Joanne McCormack. And I started running her support groups. And there's the notes that I wrote down. And I spoke to Joanne, well, you know, what, what would I put down on, on, on the flyer? And so I made the notes of the book and, and there's the flyer that we produced. So that was the one I had diabetic, pre-diabetic, having trouble losing weight. And we started there doing the um, the meetings, the personal meetings with Dr. Joe. And there's a little bit, but there's a bio about Joe over there and um, how to find the venue that we were I've got to do this right. How to find the venue we were using and some headlines down over here. I'm making a mess of this. There you go. I'll move it because it's back to front of my camera. You see. So when I go left, it moves it right. So there you are. Um, and so the reason I'm doing that is because it's good to have these these things. So my journal here, um, it's it, it's a record of my journey of my local loafer journey. It wasn't called local loafer then. Um, it was just called just trying to lose weight. And my weight on the fourth of June, 2020. We're not far away from the fourth of June now. Was eleven stone ten pounds, right? Now, the other day, because I've, I've had a little bit of carb creep, my weight was 12 stone, two pound. So you can say that my weight has gone up four pound in, what, three years? It's not bad, is it? You know, and, and somebody's telling me to, to, to do it this way, that way, and the other way. But I say weigh daily, um, and that's based on evidence and experience. If anybody out there doesn't agree with it, I'm not interested. I don't care whether they agree, whether they don't agree. Find out what works for you. So journaling is, is so important. And the reason for it is that it enables us. And there's, there's, there's my weight, like I said, 12 stone, two pound there. Right? And I'm still on one meal a day. And so I'm not doing anything now that I wasn't doing then. Um, except that it's a way of life. And the beauty of the journal is that I can look back. And when I was fasting, my weight then was 11 stone, six pounds. And I, I, I haven't got to go on a nap, you know? Uh, I've even got circuit diagrams in there because I've got a background in electronics. Now, you know, so everything, all, all, all my bits and pieces are in here. And I was trying to learn about how our circulation works. And, and so I've got all, all my notes in here. So journaling is so, so important. Um, there you are, Tuesday, the 20th of January, 12 stone, one pound, and I was fasting. 
So I've done fasting and I'm I'm an expert on fasting. I am. And one of the things that we're going to be talking about, we'll do this next week, is autophagy. But that's that's me about journaling. I'm sure everybody who's on on, on Zoom with us today will add their little bit of expertise. And we're hoping that this will help you in your journey. So I'll I'll just pass it over to our experts. Okay, I'll go first. <laughs> This is my journal. This is an empty page that I prepared the day before. I basically set it up with the the day, the date, what I'm, what drinks I might have, my um, supplements, sleep, bowel movements, exercise, and oh, oh man, what I'm going to eat. So I use the same format every day, and that really helps me because um, I just can tick off the, my supplements that I've taken. Mm -hmm. I can see how much water I've drank, I drank, um, and how much sleep I had, and so on. So I think everybody comes up with their own format, but it's good to come up with a format pretty quickly so that you, it's not stressful. Every day you're not thinking, how do I do this? You just um, put down the titles of the different things you want to keep track of, and you do it in the same format every day, and it's easy and quick. And I do recommend keeping a paper journal um, because it's more personal and more um, in tune with our, our psychology than doing it on an app. So if you if you do use an app and you find it uh, works great for you, that that's that's for that's for you. But for me, I've always been a pen and paper girl. That's it. Okay, thank you for that. Um, yeah, I should say I'll, I'll start next if you like. I found the journaling um, and mine's a little bit different to Andrea's because uh, I, I I concentrate an awful lot on the diabetes. So I'll just show you mine quick. Uh, I, I'm sorry that is all back to front, but I haven't got any way other way to do it than this. But I do my uh, blood sugars in, in that each day, so I know how good I'm doing. Um, uh, my weight's good. It's been the same now for for uh, several years. I'm on uh, just maintenance. But I do find the same as uh, uh, Trevlin and Andrea said, that if you write everything down, and I look back and I think, oh, I forgot I was going to have that today, in and then you think, well, what am I doing? Because obviously, even though you're maintaining, you still put on weight and you're inclined to go, you know, keep putting on the pound, then you put on another pound, so you've got to go back again. So I find it very handy for that. I also would like to mention this book. We, we've mentioned it before. Great book. Um, uh, which is a carb. Uh, don't, I'm not concerned about the calories. But it's a carb uh, counter, and it tells you the actual uh, weight and, and everything there is all in picture form. Everything that you need to know that helps you with the fat content and the, the, the carb content of a particular food. Now, that I found that there, uh, it's like, it's like a, a second Bible. It's wonderful, well worth having. But um, no, I found journaling very, very good. It's helped me an awful lot. And, uh, and now I can even look back in, in, in with the blood glucose and I think, oh, that's a little bit high today. What have I had? And then I go back. So it's, it's all good stuff. So uh, uh, I, I really, really recommend you know, first thing in the morning, right down, I went down my blood, my fasting, uh, what time I started eating, all those type of things, what I feel that I'm going to have in the day, and, um, and try and stick to it. So it, it works for me anyway. So I, let's hope that um, it will work for you as well. Thank you. Thank you for that. Mm. So, so I have done it a little bit differently, but after listening to you three, I think I might change my format. I have kept everything on either my computer or my phone. And I, I find in particular, if I am 
you know, going out to eat with friends, it's helpful to be able to just put it right away in my phone and, and not have to carry, you know, writing materials with me to write what I'm eating. Um, but I'm, I am thinking that I may well start uh, doing it, doing it by hand and then maybe just um, using my phone if I happen to be out and about. Uh, one aspect that we haven't talked about is that what we're really doing is using ourselves as a science experiment, um, where n equals one, and we write we write down whatever I you know I also keep track of my blood sugar um, and you know the weight every day, and then I can look back I can look back at the foods and and think, okay, so I, I ate this, I didn't think it was gonna be a problem, but look at what happened to my weight. Um, and maybe not the next day, but the day after that. And, and so you, you can begin to formulate ideas about what works for you, because we're, you know, we're all different, our bodies seem to process foods differently. Um, there are things to, that you learn to stay away from. Um, there are things that, um, for instance, if I were to go buy a, a, a jar of um, mixed nuts, I can't leave them alone. So, so those are no longer on my shopping list. Um, but, but you wouldn't necessarily know that if you weren't keeping track and being able to look back and see that, oh yeah, I intended to have seven almonds and I had way more than, <laughs> than that. Um, so it, it's, it's just a, it, we're just an ongoing experiment and this is a wonderful way to track it. Yeah, thank you, Julie. Um, yeah, okay. uh, I start today, uh, I started today to be honest with myself, and that's the main thing. Start today, I weigh myself now every day, and uh, I looked at if uh, the kilo go up or down, what I'm eating. I uh, I'm uh, I take a one meal of day, and I decided the day before, so I can hit now stick with it. I think the main thing in this is to be true with myself. Uh, this is the main thing. And don't say uh, don't say it's you have to have a Donald's McDonald's or something like that if you are very good in work or something like that, but just be true with yourself and you can uh, you can also you have to li also like yourself love yourself and stick with you this path thank you that's that, that's that's good advice um yeah. just just one question while then i'm not yeah. i'm not picking any obviously but uh, you uh, said you've started doing this what were you doing before please if you don't mind me asking i i have and i did i have had a lose about 40 kilos or 50 i don't remember but uh, when i was like that i said it's all right to have this one, that one at Donald's and everything, and uh, it come all back. Then I was not true with myself. I have to, to face myself. I have to love myself. I have to, I my work is uh, like a difficult thing uh, most of the, the day. Yeah. I am always uh, it's all link a problem for other peoples every day so uh, when I come home I always tired and uh, I, it's simple to go on the couch and be there but it's better to go out and walk 
and uh, have a yeah have a focus in life yeah. have a clear focus but before I'm, I'm not talking about years ago like yeah. last week were you journaling daily were you waiting no 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 when no, they, how, no, how did you wait? no it's uh, uh I start now like a email myself the day before. Then I can sh- sh- then I show it, see it at work, and I have a, like a workbook, and I write it down there when I see it, okay. because uh, this much things I have to do. I always are mailing me what I have to do. I I am. Uh, always on the run, you could say that, and uh, between companies uh, and so on. So I always mail me everything I had to. Okay, but were you weighing yourself daily or weekly? Daily, no. Yeah, before? No, 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 weekly. Weekly? Yeah. So, so did weekly work for you? No. 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 No, no. It's a... Uh, it's it, the kilo is like a roller coaster, and but uh, I have to like now, maybe later, but now I have to wait myself daily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank, thanks for that, Lord. Because I mean, yeah. the reason I wanted you to say yeah. that is because I think there are people out there who believe and they're entitled to believe that they weigh weekly, that's fine, but I know for a fact it doesn't work, yeah, it just doesn't work, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And um, what what we're trying to do is solve our own problem first. We've mm-hmm. got, I've got a problem. We've all got yeah. a problem. Yeah. So you know, save yourself before you save other people. Yeah. But, you know, if you've got the answer, there's mm-hmm. two things you can do. You can keep it to yourself and don't tell mm-hmm. anybody, mm-hmm. um, or sh- or share it, share it. And all we want yeah. to do is share it so that we help other yeah. people. That's what we're in here for. We're here to yeah. help other people. Mm-hmm. You know, none of us are getting the medal for saying or doing what we're. Well, for being here, no, no, no. we just want this information to go out there, yeah. To help people, so if if you're struggling out there yourself mm-hmm. and you've tried, you've tried the slimming clubs, you've tried going mm-hmm. to the gym, you've mm-hmm. tried running around fields, you've mm-hmm. tried counting calories, mm-hmm. you know, come and join us because you know you are. You can't mm-hmm. soar like an eagle if you mm-hmm. fly with turkeys, mm-hmm. right? So stop flying with turkeys and come mm-hmm. and soar. With eagles, because that's what we are. We are eagles, mm-hmm. aren't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. That's good. Yes. Mm. Yeah. I guess we are. <laughs> Too true. I would like to make a comment about the weighing daily versus weighing every week, or mm. some people say once a month or whatever. Mm. I I have come to very much appreciate weighing every day because that, you know, it, it it's not always going to be a loss. Mm-hmm. It's going to be, you know, maybe you're staying the same. Maybe you are going up a pound or two, or maybe you're going down a pound or two. Mm-hmm. Um, but when you when you weigh every week, I find that, or every month, it's I find it a lot more disheartening. Um, you know, if you lose from week to week, that's great. But I find that if you if over the course of a week, let's say you have put on two pounds, uh, I I find that much more disheartening and and much less. Uh, I feel much less in control of the whole situation. So, you know, I've been very happy with with weighing every day, and even if it goes up, and it, it you know it does. Your life is is always changing, and so it does go up. It's that life is a roller coaster. Right, but yeah. then it also goes back down, and and yeah. you know, it may be a roller coaster, but you want it to be a relatively smooth roller coaster, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, not a woo. Yeah. <laughs> but but it, it, it definitely says about flying like an eagle. But talking about that, you know, not weighing uh, or weighing once a bit week, you're flying blind mm-hmm. because right. even if you've done well, you mm-hmm. don't know why you've done well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you think well, how, how come I've lost all that this week? I didn't, you know. And, and then if you put on, you don't know, so you're completely blind mm-hmm. all the time. It might be lovely when you've lost, but you don't know the reason why you've lost. Mm-hmm. 
because you have it written it down, you can't look back and think, well, that's the reason why I lost that. It's your flying life. Yeah. Right. I, th I think I think that's right, and and it's like um, Jerry was saying. Then, if if you've gone the whole week and you've maintained, and you think, well, that was a waste of time, but hang on a minute, you might have lost two pound one day, and then because something happened and you ate something that wasn't the right mm. food, let's put it that way, yeah. Yeah. that two pound went back. Yeah. So you can say, well, I I did a good thing there, and yeah. I saw good results. I did the bad thing there, and I saw a bad result. Mm -hmm. And therefore, for somebody to say, well, this doesn't work, mm -hmm. it does work, and the evidence is here. You know, the evidence is here. I've got it there, mm -hmm. you know, like 12 some one pound, yeah. you know, two fried eggs or whatever, apple cider vinegar, nothing later. And this, that later, that's that's my, that's the big tick that in the box for me. It's that later. It's what mm -hmm. I can eat after I've eaten. And I've said this, and that's going back to 2022, you know? And then I woke up with a stiff neck, you know. And I went I went out to a to a restaurant, you know, later mm -hmm. half a pint, you know, the digestive biscuits, you know. Mm -hmm. There you go. And my weight there was 12 stone, two pounds. Oh, I wonder why my weight's gone to 12 stone, four pound. Oh, mm. my word. What's happened there? Yeah. No, it's my, I can see why. Evidence and experience, you know, and that's what, that's the motivation. We've got to, we've got to find out what works for us and what doesn't work for us. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want to talk about control for a moment. Julie touched on control. And one thing I know is that we're all addicts. And you have to have control over your addiction. And if you don't know what's going on day by day or week by week, but day by day better, you won't know you won't know what to do. You won't know where you failed or where you've succeeded. And because addiction is so insidious, it can start a downward spiral, in other words, a slippery slope. So you know, like Truffle was saying, you could have won and lost in the same week, but you really won't know. And so you're thinking, well, to heck with it then. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to eat bread. Like in my in my case, that would be what, it, what I would say. Um, but if you can see exactly what happened, you still are in control. And you know, I, I won, I lost, I know why. Um, I know that um, that low carb bread for me that I tried doesn't work. So we need to stay in control as addicts. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. True. True. Absolutely. There, there are so many aspects of our weight, you know, or our health that you have no control over. So this is at least one area where you do have some control. Um, there are you know, there are also additional reasons why you might lose might weigh uh, more based not just on what you have eaten you might be going through a stressful period in your life and your cortisol levels go way up and that uh, that it in itself makes you seem to retain weight um or not not lose when you might expect that you would and so you just you kind of have to look at your own life look at your your moods look at what's going on around you uh, and and not just the food itself, although you know that that is certainly a, a huge part of it. And and your journal probably should contain that kind of thing as well. Your your reactions to what's going on. Um, you know, if, if something is uh, stressful, you probably should be writing that down because then you can um, correlate that with the the weight changes. Maybe maybe it's as simple as for women who are like um, uh, menstruating. It's probably just it could be just water weight from that. So you you know you really need to know what's going on in your life, not just what you're eating. That's one thing why I always write down my sleep and exercise and things like that that um, that that might um, actually affect my my weight or my mood. For that to that, but yeah. I, I was just thinking that, you know, um, 
I don't know where where you could go to get this information that we've actually documented here. You know, somebody, somebody might find that really interesting to have access to this and say, can I take that? Can I see what you've done, what you've eaten? I know they can't see the quantities, but they can see the quality of the meal and how it's affected. Because, you know, I don't think anybody else has got anything like this. You can put it on a map, but they'll talk about calories, you know, and... Anyway, there you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, if all of us were posting our meals, we, <laughs> we would be able to show them what we're eating. <laughs> yeah, true. I, I haven't posted my meals for the, for a while, and, and I think my meals are boring. That's why. And I'm trying to make room for other people, so I try and put videos on. But look at that. 11 stone, 7 pound there. You know? But I have a glass of wine and three bags of, of pork scratchings. Right? Yeah. Go back on a 48 hour fast. You know? I, and I forgot to weigh. Look at that. Sometimes I forget to weigh. I forget to weigh. Mm -hmm. But if you do, write down, you know, you didn't weigh on that particular day. So this, you know, we're just. Oh. I think weighing is like journaling, it, it becomes a routine. And it would be rare for you to step out of that routine if you get into it well enough. Like for me, get up, go to the bathroom, get on the scale. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I. The only time I haven't is when I've been out, and and you know it, that that is a frustration that that you can't weigh um, like you usually do at home. Yes. Yes. I must say that um, I, I don't like being out of my routine. And I think that's part of um, when you're uh, you're addicted to something, you need to keep a routine so that you're not, um, you're, you're not putting yourself in a situation where it's pulling you out of your way of eating or your, you know, the good way that we're living. So routine is really important for me. That's why, you know, get up, go to the bathroom, um, weigh myself, and the first, then the next thing I do is I enter that weight in my journal, and um, and then put down what I've, uh, what supplements I've taken today, and what 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 liquids I've consumed, and so on. It's helpful to be in routine, and for those people who can't do that, that's really difficult. You know, if you're in a situation where every day is kind of different, and you're working, and things, you know, you have to go. Um, away for work or whatever those of us who are retired have it a little bit easier i think yeah mm -hmm. you know i'm i'm so sorry i know it's boring but again limestone six and then my weight limestone seven and even though it's a pound difference in the day i've had a tub of greek yogurt you know mm -hmm. two glasses of red wine and that does not help at the end of the day it's only a pound but and then I've written down what I've done the next day and, you know, wow. Yeah. And it's so, so important to do this. It's so important. But if I put it on an app, I probably couldn't. I like to be on something in my hand. I can just click me the page. I don't need a password, you know. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And also, if the app goes belly up and disappears, your, yeah. your data can go with it. Yeah. 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 I so, mean, yeah, that's that, that's something that can definitely happen. Did Did anybody buy um that book from Celia? Do you remember she had it, your foxy lady or something? That was like I didn't uh, buy this. You know, I've got these cheap I know. books from yeah. the station store. Yeah. I, I mean, Celia, um, she she wrote one on Amazon, didn't she? Yeah, uh, yeah. It was, uh, yeah. I keep thinking maybe I should do a local offer one, especially for local offer. Um, yeah, I should do that, you know. Yeah, and put pages in between with bits of information in, so like a journal with um, with tips and hints and advice. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that that might work. So, so what else can we say about journaling, folks? What, can, what else can we say? It works. Yeah, and that's yeah. the most important. Yeah. And it's uh, when when you start your journey, yeah, is 
is I find it better to write first. When I start my journey, that's uh, the main thing. First two weeks is uh, crucial for me to write things down. Yeah. And you can also send your email or something like that. But uh, first two weeks is crucial. Yeah, yeah, you're forming yeah. a habit as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So is there anything else that we want to say about journaling? No, it's. Uh, I think we, we we've all covered a little bit different, and it's. Uh... Yeah, and I think yeah. I think the one thing that that we can say with confidence is that really, um, we should make your journal your own, mm -hmm. make it your own. Um, I mean, some people put the bowel movements down, people put the blood sugar glucose levels down, you know, maybe exercise, but whatever you think that you do. Um, yeah. which is important for you, put that down, your moods, your swings, you know, do you eat when, more when, when you've got company? Did people come to see you? Did, did they go out for a meal? I write everything down like that. I don't, I don't, well, I put, not everything, but if I go out for a meal, I'll write that down as well. But Andrew did touch on a very important subject, and I'm guilty now, I'm not, not doing it like I used to do, and that was take photographs of your meals and, and show them. Because the food that we put on our plate is, is the food that makes a difference. And even though we might think that we're doing good, um, it gives us an opportunity to help you. If we see something on your plate, we're not going to admonish you for it, but we'll ask the question, say, I wonder if that person really knows what effect that food on their plate could do. So I saw um, a photograph um, today and it had an item on it, and the meal was lovely, but I just thought, I wonder if the people really know that eating that one component is adding carbohydrates, and it was corn, it was sweet corn, a big cob of sweet corn. Um, and, you know, again, you're going to put butter on it, well, I would, and you'd eat it, but corn, corn is carbohydrates. So you're keeping everything else low, and you're cooking it in a very healthy way, and you put one item of food on there, and the next day they'll say, well, I haven't lost any weight because yeah. we eat these things. And people say, well, carrots are not high. Well, nothing's high if you eat, unless you eat them in excess. But if you add them to every meal, if every meal you have that extra five carbs of carbohydrate, mm -hmm. five grams of carbohydrates here, 10 there, two there, it mounts up and it can make a difference. It can make a difference. So just be very aware. And like Jennifer said, that book, it's you've, you've got to get it seriously. It's it's available on Amazon. It's very affordable. I think is it twelve pound, Jenny, for something like that, or fifteen? Yeah, yeah. Something it's, like uh, that. Hang on, I've just got it here. No, no, fifteen ninety nine. Fifteen ninety nine. Yeah. So it's invest. Not, 15, not worth every penny. You say you say that in money and food in no time at all. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're, we're going to draw this, this meeting to a close where we've been talking about journaling. And next week, we're going to be talking about autophagy. And if you don't know what it means, then we will enlighten you. I'm going to um, share something on the screen here now, which I hope will in, in, encourage you to come back and, and have a look at this. This is autophagy. So it's spelt A U T O. A U T O P H A G Y Autophagy A U T O P H A G Y and there's a lot of information out there about it but it's relatively new it's a relatively new science but it's been going on in our bodies since the beginning of, of our creation um, and we're learning about it more and more and more and we'll be telling you how to get into autophagy, the benefits of autophagy, and it's it's there to help to keep these bodies ticking over and going on and on and on and on. So come back next week as well. And, and if you feel that you want to join us and be able to make a contribution, then please do so. Because if you're an expert by experience, we want to hear from you. Is that right, guys? Yes. Yes. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah.
So I'm going to say cheerio, and we'll catch up with you soon. Bye now. Yeah, bye. If you're watching this video on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell so you don't miss out on our future videos.